Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Elric, your host. Now today we're gonna to be taking an unboxing and first look of You Got It, another PC product. So you guys out there who are digging on that, here we're back again with it. Today we're gonna to be looking at the new Silverstone Heligon HE02. Now this thing's supposed to really work really well, handle CPUs up to 130 watts, and it'll actually work with any type of system out there. So whether you're an AMD guy, an Intel guy, it doesn't matter, that's all out the window. This thing's for everybody. So let's start out, let's just take a look at the box like usual. You guys can see that's the nice lovely front of the box. Flip it around. Here, I'm gonna have the camera and freeze on this for a couple of seconds. This is probably what's gonna be more important that you guys wanna see. These are all the specifications of the actual cooler. So you guys should get all that down. So now let's bring it back over to the table. The only other thing on the box really that's even worth looking at is nothing. So there's really nothing else worth looking at in the box. Let's set it down right here. There's gonna be a place right down here. I'm going to have to use my trusty knife. I already had it flicked out, so no reason for that today. I'll just go ahead and make a quick incision down here on the bottom. And we'll go ahead and pull the tab. And we shall start to unbox this thing. Take it out, flip it around. Take the top, off the top, we can see it's part of the Nitrogen Heligon series. Nitrogen Heligon series. Like I said before, this is the HEO2, the HEO2. Inside just like, you know, various stuff on how to put it together again for AMD or for Intel. Intel, AMD, everything's inside there. Like I said before, it's really good. It'll work with anything that's out there. So let's pull the unit out. Is that about it? Yep, that's all there is to it. So here is the unit. Now, this thing, it's like just a big, giant, giant thing of fins. And, uh, all right, pretty amazingly enough, there's no fan, unless it's in this box. So let's see what this is. Is this a fan or is this accessories? All right, look at the camera just to resume to the table right here. These are all the accessory packages for everything to mount, all your mounting hardware, your paste, brackets, back plate, everything you need is there. So that's that stuff. Now, one thing that's unusual about this thing is you're gonna notice is there's no fan. So let me bring this up here to you guys. There's no fan in this, and I'm not seeing any place on here to mount a fan. So it's completely gonna be a silent cooling solution. Obviously, they must be feeling awfully damn confident about that. So we see we up here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six heat pipes running throughout the entire center of the system. And we'll flip it to the bottom. This is where it mounts up. It's gonna put this onto your CPU along with the paste. All the heat's gonna gather in here, go up into these chambers. Then it's gonna go up into here and then dissipate through all of these fins. Now, I gotta say that Silverstone is coming across pretty ballsy with a move like this. You usually do not see a cooler, especially for any of the higher end stuff, that doesn't have a fan at all. So really, I gotta give hats off to these guys for this. Now, as far as the performance goes and how well it works, we'll have to hook it up to the test station I got back here behind me, and then we can throw out some of the numbers. Until then though, here's what it looks like. And we'll see you guys back here in Tech of Tomorrow, tomorrow.